hey guys welcome back to another video today's video is just a quick update of the area that i use to airbrush shirts and make custom controllers and of course record all these videos for you so i wanted to move the paint a little bit closer to the area where i do airbrushing and that's why i use some spare wood and create a little bit of a shelf uh, to put all my bottles in and of course lay down a uh, piece of uh it's kind of like a butcher paper and I got that at a Home Depot it's a large one and then I can kind of lay it back there and uh, roll it out as I need it and this way I have a fresh new base uh, to work from and looks really nice on the videos I wanted a clean background every time I did a video this way it looks nice uh, for you guys uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out how to secure the end to the table right now I'm just using tape but eventually I want to put maybe an aluminum strip so it holds it down uh, and uh, for now it's pretty easy um, you know for me to do it. it's fairly quick than just putting just a sheet of paper on there and trying to tape it all the way around I just have the roll cut the front end and I roll it out this is a cool little way if you're doing crafts as well you know you got glue and stuff like that paint uh, splattering around so it's a cool little way to keep your uh, surface uh, nice and fresh every single time and of course if you are making videos it does make for a nicer background eventually I want to uh, put maybe like some sort of a tube or hangers this way I don't have to kind of like roll out the uh, the roll I can just kind of pull it uh, but for now it works pretty good and I like the way that I can you know I like the fact that I can refresh um, my surface fairly quickly I got this roll at Home Depot and it's obviously to uh, protect your floors when you're doing painting uh, there is another color it's a more of a reddish color I'm not really sure what the difference is but for my videos I wanted something a little bit more neutral and uh, of course uh, the brown definitely works and uh, it doesn't make my videos look all reddish and stuff like that so I'm gonna try to keep using that same natural and uh, neutral brown so I use my air dryer a lot and uh, so I ended up getting a piece of pipe and cutting that down to size and screwing that to the side of the table and it works as a holster just drop in my air dryer and I can use it and pull it out real quick as I need it obviously eventually if you use it too much uh, it's gonna damage a little bit of the um, the hair dryer you can see there um, but you know it's a working machine so that's okay and then I have a holder for my airbrush I actually have two holders if I need to use an additional airbrush and uh, this particular uh, I guess like metal uh, hook uh, came in a set of two and it it was like a little thing that clamped onto your table um, but uh, the, the thickness on my table was too thick it wasn't gonna work so I took it apart and just kind of screw uh, the holders directly on the table so it makes it easier for me so I do all my videos on my phone and the way I have that top view is simply I took a old um, selfie stick and attached it to the shelf and that's what holds my phone in place and it's fairly easy to use and very affordable so uh, that's pretty much it well guys that's gonna be it for this video and I just wanted to showcase the little upgrade that I have there in my work area and how uh, it's worked for me so every day I try to improve something here and there and uh, so I always got something going on so don't forget to check out my Instagram I have a lot of stuff on there and of course check out all the Etsy stores down in the description below to check out additional stuff that you can get from me so for now take it easy uh, let me know if you guys are in Anaheim California and you are doing YouTube as well I want to collab with you so hit me up and hopefully we do something together so I'll see you guys in the next video bye, -bye.